This model was simple, it was comforting, and it was completely wrong. Section 5. Beyond a Ladder. A New Model of Consciousness. For too long, we've thought about consciousness as a ladder. At the bottom were the simple creatures, and way up at the top, of course, was us. This model was simple, it was comforting, and it was completely wrong. The evidence from octopuses, dolphins, birds, and even insects shows us that consciousness isn't a single thing. It's not a ladder, but more like a vast, multi-dimensional space. Scientists now suggest we think about consciousness in terms of different profiles. These profiles vary along several key dimensions. There's perceptual richness. How detailed and vibrant is an animal's sensory world? A dog's world is rich with smells we can't imagine, while a dolphin's is defined by sound. Then there's evaluative richness, the capacity for emotions and feelings. This is the ability to feel pain, pleasure, fear, or joy. Another dimension is temporal integration. How does an animal experience time? Does it live mostly in the present, or does it have a sense of its past and future, like the cuttlefish that can remember specific past events? And finally, there's self-consciousness. The degree to which an animal has a concept of itself as an individual separate from the world, like what we see in the mirror test. Using this model, we can see that different species have different combinations of these traits. An octopus might have incredible perceptual richness and problem-solving skills, but a very different, less unified sense of self. A dolphin might score high on self-consciousness and social awareness, while a bee might have a surprisingly rich emotional experience, capable of feeling something like playfulness. No single species is more conscious than another. They are simply conscious in different ways. Their minds were shaped by millions of years of evolution to solve the unique problems of their world. Human consciousness is just one possible setup out of countless others.